Hello students, welcome to my channel Concept Tech 2018. I am Dr. Sunal Lamanke and this video is a part of the series on online electronics laboratory and in this part we will take lab exercises on diodes. The assignments in the lab include the VI characteristics of silicon and germanium diode, then working of diode as half wave and full wave rectifier, diode used as clipper and clamper and lastly the Zener diode working as voltage regulator. The first assignment is VI characteristics of PN junction diode. In the experiment we have to observe the variation of current with respect to applied voltage in forward and reverse bias in the diode. First of all we have to connect the circuit as shown in the figure here we will have a diode and we will apply input supply to the diode and we will observe the current on the emitter and the voltage applied will be observed on the voltmeter. We will apply input DC and we will vary it from 0 to 1 volts and then we will observe the voltage and current reading for forward bias diode. Then we will reverse the polarity of the diode and repeat the experiment with DC supply from 0 to 10 volts for reverse bias and we will observe the output current. In forward bias the current range will be set to milliamperes whereas in the reverse bias the current range will be set to microamperes. The voltage setting will be 0 to 1 volts in forward bias and 0 to 10 volts in the reverse bias and we will repeat the same experiment for germanium diode as well. We will take silicon diode first. This is silicon diode used in forward bias connection. This is the supply which is given to the diode. The diode's output is given to the ammeter which will read the current and the voltage is read by the voltmeter. This is the voltmeter it will read the input voltage and this will read the current through the circuit. Right. The voltmeter is set to 1 volts and the ammeter is set to milliamps. Yes, we will use the fine button in the DC supply because we have to increase the voltage slightly in decimal. So, we will increase the voltage to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 there is no current, 0 0.4 small current, 0 0.5 more current. As we cross the cut in 0 0.6 and 0 0.7 current increases sharply. Right. Being forward bias, the current will increase sharply after the cut in voltage or new voltage is reached for silicon. Now, we will observe the readings closely voltmeter and ammeter readings. So, voltage is maximum range is 1 volts, current's maximum range is 10 milliamps. Now, we will increase the voltage 0 0.1, no increase in current, 0 0.2, 0 current, 0 0.3, slight increase in current, 0 0.4, 1 milliamps. 0.5 2 milliamps, 0.6 4 milliamps, 0.7 6 milliamps, 0.8 8 milliamps and as we go to 0.9 it crosses the 10 milliamps range. So, you have seen how the current rises sharply when we use silicon diode in the forward region. Now, we have changed the setting of the diode we have connected in the reverse bias now. So, we will change the voltage setting to 10 volts and current setting to micro amperes. It was in milliamperes, so we are changing it to micro amperes because very small amount of current will flow. In fact, in silicon diode zero current flows throughout the reverse bias. Now, we will increase the voltage with the cores, right. So, 2 volts, 2.6, 3, 4.4, 5, 6 and you can observe there is no current in the emitter right zero current flows in silicon diode you can observe here 10 volts and zero current now we will take germanium diode for practical now this is germanium diode in the forward bias region the ammeter is set to milliamps and the voltage is set to 1 volts because very small amount of forward voltage is to be applied the setting is same we will observe the voltmeter and the ammeter carefully 0 0.1 some current 0 0.2 more current 0 0.3 large change in the current because the cut in voltage of germanium diode is small 0 0.3 volts. So, after 0 0.4 volts there is a abrupt rise in the current 0 0.5 the current is has crossed the limit it is reached to 10 milliamps we will watch the reading closely we will make the voltage 0 again and we will start it 
will start with 0.2 volts 0 0.2 2 milliamps 0 0.3 4 milliamps 0 0.4 6 milliamps 0 0.59 and 0 0.6 10 milliamps coming to the reverse bias of the germanium diode now we have to change the setting we have changed the switch to volts and microamperes but uh, germanium diode gives reverse current so you can observe here voltage is changed to 4 volts and the current in microamperes you can see the current is rising so that is the difference between silicon germanium diode germanium diode gives reverse current although small amount of reverse current it is in the range of microamperes but there is a current flowing through the diode in the reverse region also in case of germanium from the experiments we have observed the behavior of silicon in germanium diode in silicon diode the forward bias diode starts conducting at 0.7 volts that is the knee voltage and after 0.7 the current rises sharply when we go to reverse bias operation we vary the voltage from 0 to 10 volts for all the variations the current observed is zero in case of germanium diode in the forward bias the diode starts conducting at 0 0.3 volts that is the knee voltage for germanium diode after 0.3 the current rises sharply and in reverse bias the voltage is varied again from 0 to 10 volts as we did for silicon diode but in this case we observe current in the range of microamperes we have performed experiment in the lab now we will perform the same experiment in virtual lab this is the address for the virtual lab we will go to this address and then we will click on basic electronics lab in the basic electronics lab we will click on the list of experiments and we will go to vi characteristics of diode here we have to click on the simulation and then we have to select the desired experiment from the list of experiments and then we will start the simulation for the desired experiment as discussed in the previous slide, we'll go to basic electronics lab. In this lab, we'll select the list of experiments. Number of experiments are given. We have gone to VI characteristic. Here, all the details are given. We can go through the theory part of PN junction diode as well. We can see the procedure for the experiment. And then we'll do the simulation. In the simulation, there are silicon, germanium, both forward and reverse bias options are given. So, we will go for forward biasing silicon diode, but we will select the draw circuit option. In the draw circuit option, we have to do the connections of the circuit before doing the experiment. So, we will do the connection as per the instructions given in the instruction tab. Battery to the resistance, resistance output to the ammeter, ammeter output to the diode. We will connect the voltmeter to the diode and the negative side of the diode will be connected to the battery that is negative side of the battery or the supply and then it will be connected to the ground. We will check the connections, connections are correct. Now we have to set the value of the resistance and the we have to give the DC supply input. So we are setting the value of the resistance approximately 1k and then we will change the DC supply. Right. We are setting the resistance value to 1K approximately, right? Now, we will change the value of the DC supply and we will observe the voltage across the diode and current through the diode. Before that, we have to select the diode also whose forward voltage is 0 0.6 volts. Now, we will change the DC supply and we will observe the current and voltage and we will put it in the table, right? So, unless we reach to 0 0.6 volts, the diode current is 0. So, we will take the value to 0 0.6. As soon we reach 0 0.6, you can see the value of the voltage and the value of the current. Now, the voltage across the diode, forward voltage is almost constant, but the value of the current is increasing when we change the input voltage. We can increase the value of the supply further and you can observe the voltmeter and current readings also and their values are mentioned in the here also right let us plot the curve and you can observe by plotting this is the vi characteristic change in voltage results in change in current a sharp rise in the current after the cut in voltage is reached let us do the silicon reverse biased experiment as well we'll select the diode 
the diode is having a breakdown voltage of 30 volts so we can give maximum 30 volts to the input of the diode so we'll select the resistance value and we'll start giving the DC supply to it so we are changing the resistance value and we have added the first reading to the table right so for the given reverse voltage we are observing the reverse current we are increasing the DC supply and adding it to table and you can observe that even if we are increasing the reverse voltage it's not increasing the reverse current it is constant to 0.1 right so and this will happen till we reach to the breakdown potential which is 30 volts as soon we reach to 30 volts the current reading will abruptly increase because this diode will break down there is abrupt rise in the current as soon we go to the 30 volts and it has been added to table now we can plot this right so let us plot this curve and you can observe here Initially, for increase in voltage, there is no change in the current and as soon the breakdown is reached, the current rises sharply. Now, we will take the germanium diode. Germanium diode in the forward bias. You can observe here. Powered by germanium diode. Here, we have only two options for selection. We can change the value of the resistance and we can change the value of the DC supply and then we can add the readings of the voltmeter and ammeter to the table we can plot the VI characteristic so we have added 0 0 now we will increase the DC supply and we will try to observe the value so we have plotted the second value third value let us increase the DC supply further for germanium diode and observe here the Let's increase it further and add the value and you can observe that there is a sharp rise in the current now. The current has reached to a value of 4 right and now we can plot the curve. You can observe the VI characteristic for 0.3 cut in voltage there is a sharp rise in the current. Now we'll go to the reverse bias of germanium diode. Again the options are same we can change the value of the resistance which is connected in series and we can change the value of the DC supply and observe the value of the voltage and current right so let us change the DC supply and keep on adding the values to the table so that we can plot it later and we know that in reverse bias the current flowing through the diode is very small in this case of germanium diode the current is zero so when we go to the breakdown voltage only then the current will increase so we are increasing the value of the voltage we can go up to 30 volts as written in this instruction you can observe here you can see abrupt rise in the current which is observed on the emitter also right for the 30 volts of the input voltage let us plot this as soon you plot it see for the initial values of the voltages current is zero for breakdown after breakdown it is maximum i hope you have understood the working of silicon and germanium diode in forward and reverse bias thank you